Hello everyone, Luke Ford Smith here. This Friday 19th of May 2023, 10.30 in the PM, about 29. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about AI, artificial intelligence, um, today. Um, mainly because I started to get into it, even though I already knew about it for the past just over a year now even though it's been going for ages for many years since 2015 i believe i've been going on for longer than that um but i started using it um about i'm gonna say about a week and a half ago i'm 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 new i'm new to this however i haven't been like able to make videos out of it i just um found a chatbot called cat gpt um which is is really good i'm not a pr i'm because they got two um like two um um modes of it they they got the free the free go one which is a limited depending on if it's like high in demand um or you can pay 20 dollars a month and you can get the plus version which is um, good if it's high high in demand plus it's like got the newest version on the plus version I'm not that bothered about getting the the um, plus version at the minute I might delve in into it a little bit um, in the upcoming um, weeks um, mainly because I want to talk about these two AI platforms in um, their own videos this is just talking about AI in, in a whole as a whole um now i have like typed certain things in into the um in in the cat gpt gpt whatever the bloody name is um and um i can see why people don't like it because i i'm like typing in like turn like turn these in into a story and it actually writes a decent story for you or like if you want res recipes ask it and it'll it's basically like um google home but knows a lot more um, i know it takes it from the internet like the person that made it like obviously ran the entire internet through this thing it's essentially like like google like google um but you can actually use it as a chatbot um, thing like you can talk to it as if you're you're talking to another person it is limited though um so don't ex don't expect it to say like not safe for work stuff because it is a it is like limited it, it'll say like things like unable to fulfill your request and something like that yes i have tried to, to see what happens and yeah it it, it 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 doesn't let you do that i know there are like certain ways to uh, incorporate that into like incorporate and um, like like a set code into it but i don't do coding i don't do anything that's too like tedious and probably mess up my computer so because i use that how it is i'm happy how, how it is um yeah i can see like the problem with it like you can put into it write write a cv or the, what is the answer to this or write an essay on this that that sort of thing i mean that would probably be better with your plus member because then you can like put a link into it and let it analyze and talk about it or upload a picture into it and let it analyze that and talk about that but that's all plus features um like i said when i talk more in depth about it i will be on the um, plus subscription uh, for a few months just to see um what the actual full version is like um so yeah i can see ways that people can cheat the system and basically like cheat a school test or a high school test their exams that sort of thing using it so um yeah um mm. <laughs> The, um, there's another one even though I completely forgot the um, name um, I wonder if it'll come up um, on my um, on Google where is it um, is it this one is it this one let me just let me just have a look let me just have a little look 
because uh, um, I think it is this one, R Runway, um, the um, picture, like the ones that you can like, um, from text, yeah it is, yeah, um, te text to image, yeah that's, that's, that's what it is, yeah um, it is called Runway AI and you can basically um, use it for a manner of things uh, but I I ended up using it for um, for text to image. Basically, you put in a prompt, and then it will generate um, one to four images um, from that prompt, um, depending on how many you'd like to generate. However, um, because I'm using the basic version, the free version, I get like a certain amount. I think it's like a hundred hundred and thirty images in in all. Um, using that one so in other words it's behind a paywall you 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 got to buy a monthly monthly subscription for more tokens per month that sort of thing you, you know how it goes i mean they 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 they, they got to help the upkeep on these websites somehow um but i put in like like random text like some something that that will look funny and stupid uh, when it actually comes up, and it did actually come up some really weird stuff. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna lie, um, but like I said, I'm gonna make a separate video on this, and so I'm gonna make two separate videos for these two programs I've been using, and explain them a little bit more in depth, and um, explain the actual show you the outcome, and the examples of what I generated using these AI um, services. Now with AI imaging, um, there's I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that have done it already, but there are better AI imaging services out there which looks really realistic, and I have seen them before. Um, people's gonna make a lot of money by generating images and selling them on the internet, like Etsy or like Facebook and stuff like that. They're gonna make a fortune, which. I probably won't do because it's most likely illegal. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, hopefully it will be more contained, like more controllable. Because like you, you don't want people going around selling artwork that they generated online for free, and it was not made by a real person. So like you're, if you're buying this artwork off of people, you're not buying, you're not supporting real people. You're 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 supporting a bot. In, in in other words so you're not really funding the economy that well so um so yeah um it needs to be a little bit more controlled so it's a bit more better to use and people need to understand it a, a lot more because i know it's gonna be like boomers saying we don't know what this is and they're falling for something that is not real because it's ai generated um so yeah there's gonna be a lot of problems with this unless it's like sorted out in the proper ways there has been a load of funny ai generated videos on youtube recently though especially with um donald trump and biden eating spaghetti together <laughs> and um will smith eating spaghetti and touching grass and jack black eating peaches that sort of thing it's a really weird stuff that i i'm not i i don't know what program they use of that but kind of interested to know so i can make something like that so um so yeah um it's interesting a little bit scary but it is interesting to learn about these things like get educated and that sort of thing um but anyway i'm gonna leave it here um if you want to know yes i have been playing a little bit more resident evil 4 remake i'm busy grinding up my like enhancing my weapons so i can get the achievements and then i'll be grinded money so I can buy the infinite rocket launcher because I really want that and I'll go for the hand cannon through mercenaries mode and that sort of thing so I hope you enjoyed this video um, tomorrow will be a Daniel Larson wiki reading I've got two articles lined up for that I hope you enjoyed this one uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and also up there is the information if you want to help support the channel you can I'll see you guys next time